but I thought maybe we would try something different with you. Okay. Okay. Because normally, as you'll see in the show, what I do is I try to tap into the audience mindset and see if they can help me figure out what someone is thinking of. Here, it's just you and me. I don't know if I can really read your minds or anything like that, but I, I can see if I can maybe narrow it down to a thought so we can get close. Okay. okay. Now, uh, today's paper, have you had a chance to, to look through today? I looked through it, yes. I didn't read all the articles, but I have thumbed through it, as I do every morning. Great. So as you thumb through it, you know, what I'm fascinated by is how we are drawn towards certain things. Okay. So how we are influenced. And for example, even the print, right, the way things are laid out, the way the words are laid out, the colors of the words, which way the pictures are set. Sure. It forces you to look certain ways, right? That's mm -hmm. the hope of the papers, that they kind of lead you yeah. down and read different we colors. We have people whose job that is. Exactly. <laughs> I'm fascinated by their job. Yeah. So their job is to look at it again from a user perspective mm -hmm. and see how a person reading it would look at things, where their eyes are going to go, what's going to grab them. Sure. So. Uh, if you remember, there's a lot of different articles in there. Now, uh -huh. don't tell us which one, but there's a particular article that stands out to you that you remember yes. out of the paper, today's uh -huh. paper. I do. And you probably remember what the article is about. You probably might even remember the headline. Is there a word that you can recall that stands out in your mind? There is. You got one in your mind. Yes. Now, is I there do. any way I can know what word that is? No. So, here's what we're going to do. I'm not just going to guess. I'm going to see if I can make an educated decision. Okay. okay? So, first things first, um, I'm going to kind of get into her head and see how she was looking at the paper. And when you're looking okay. at this, you know, you, know, you said that you were at the Invictus Games last night. I was. So I don't think you went for that. That's the front page column. Okay. You looked at uh, e-cigarettes, Seminole County, mixed reality. I don't think any of these small columns grabbed you. Uh, you're a colorful person, right? Mm -hmm. The nail polish, the light blue, so color draws you in. <laughs> and so I think that's what it was. I think she was it drawn does? by the color, not the black and white pictures, no. not the Boring. advertising that's in color, but like a big article, like this one here. I feel like you were drawn towards the article on tax cuts. Mm -hmm. Is that right? That is correct. Go ahead. Good, good. <laughs> so now I believe Leave, he, here's where we take a different track, okay? okay? Now that we know which article you looked at, oh boy. approximately how many words are inside oh, the article? Oh, I have uh, tons. Tons of words, absolutely. That's Hundreds. a technical term. <laughs> I believe, you know, probably about a thousand words here, because yes. that's a pretty big, that's a pretty okay. half-page article. Yeah, it's a pretty big one. You've got one word in your mind. I do. So now, the question is, would it be a short word, something easy for you to remember, or would it be a longer word? And I can tell, because you're used to being on camera, used to speaking, you would be drawn towards more of a longer word. Okay. And you don't have to say yes or no, but that's, that's what I'm feeling <laughs> Maybe, right now. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> so now, maybe, mm, think of the, like, maybe the vowels or the consonants. I would say sometimes we're drawn towards what's familiar to us. Uh -huh. So, for example, if I were to ask you, think of any fruit or any animal, you would think of something that relates to either your name or someone you know. Okay. So if I were just to take a guess, I would say that the word that you're thinking of is somewhat related to either your first name or your last name. Okay. Okay. And that's all I know. But maybe right. maybe it either has the same first letter, right, mm -hmm. or the same pronunciation, something like that. That's okay. what I would lean towards. Okay. Now, instead of me just guessing, I want to try something different. I'd like you to place your index finger for me. Okay. On top of that column, the first column right there in the article. Okay. And I want you to move it up and down like this, left and right, just as if you were reading it. So move it at the speed at which you would be reading it, and go ahead and just go down the line. So start reading the article in your okay. head, in your mind. Okay. All right. And then just kind of go left and right. Yep. Keep on going. Exactly. And close your eyes for a second. Close your eyes and keep on going slowly. Okay. And stop. Okay. Okay. Stop right there. Don't move a muscle. I want you to okay. keep your eyes closed. All right. I want you to, for the first time, say out loud, what word are you thinking of? Candidate. Which sounds like Kayla. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Can you please open up your eyes? Oh my God. Read the word that's right above your finger right there. Candidate. How is that possible? There you are. I guess I'm like a self-involved person. I never, I never knew it. We all are. We're drawn towards the familiar, wow. right? And a part of it is again. Oh is, my is God, Ryan, Dan, I am not making this up. I had no idea. This is not a pre-planned segment. It says it right there. Like if you zoom in yeah. to the camera, you can't. But if I'll, I'll send this to Fox later. I'm gonna highlight it. Oh my you guys god! Thank you so much. That's well, awesome. <laughs> right, yeah. game. This is bad. You guys look like yeah. you're matching out there. He's got to come visit you guys and uh, prove that this is this is insane. Absolutely, yeah. And come to the live show. We do that with audience members. They think of different things every time. And what's cool, again, it's not just I get to do this, but we do this with the paper in a very different way where we get the whole audience involved and they get to participate. And the audience gets to read someone's mind right there on stage. Wow, that's great.